Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Take my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Nida is to leave here alive. Look at me. For you, we need to find Brandon. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now, before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later.
Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. The truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Ones, economically. Blood! Don't spill it! Please! Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it!
Well, Witcher, what have you learned? More importantly, what have you resolved? Something or someone's playing hide-and-seek with me in there. Left signs showing where to go, what to do. I'll try to figure out what's going on, and who it is. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Leave him alone. And who might you be? Temple guard undercover? Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, then. You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't? This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies, and fare thee well. I, uh, got to go brush me teeth. Go home, merchant. And try not to come round here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. I'm knackered. Hmm? Won't find any better. From the Yaruga to the Dragon Mountains. You a vulgar one. I can see it in your face. Open up. Mm. What are you offering?
See you. Watch where you're walking. How can I be of service? Till next time. to believe that. Supreme, then fell in the latrine. Know it? Yeah. Also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the River Fanny. Uh, yeah. At any rate, 
the Kingfisher welcomed poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament performed here. What are you serving today? See you later. I don't know. If I was to do anything to distract folk from the true problem, I believe I shall stay the kind of the eye.
down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Way to the next room's blocked. Stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. 
Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Is it in case the first one breaks? Many a heart, eh, Dandy? 
Check to see. Mind the guards. They're worse than thugs. The folk in this city. Racial hygiene's as poor as their personal hygiene. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy, and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falk? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Make yourself comfortable, and try to relax. You must take my hand, and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot.
concept of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him? Someone left in the Rosemary and Time in their will. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. I'll never come back, you stinking stadges! All we wanted was... Go get... Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. each other like the gods of day. Ages, pal. Hey, Sultan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you? It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? 
Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits are my soul's yet. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dandelion. Huh. <laughs> this is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbothana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh, <laughs> dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. I'm sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door.
I will give you the last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This pule has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Eh, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Well, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Everybody's skimping. There's a war on. Folk don't spend coin on new clothes. That's fool talk. War or no war, the rich are always fond of finery. Then why are they not giving me anything to sew? Because new fashions have come. Where yours do sew, no shadows. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. 
I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It 
it turns out, he'll not come after all. Why not? A rat bit him, and he's put a fever. <laughs> Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium... I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. This Baronet's Lovelet's villa. 
Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette. An Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired to chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid said. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Think I can find my own way to the Vagelbud home. Very well. Perhaps I can convince you to join me later at the races. I shall keep an eye out for you. They let him rabble, and now decent folks are afraid of their own. Well, well, another free. Thinking that punishable by death. Ah, oh, people. Help! Help! What happened, kid? <laughs> they. They. <laughs> Hey, wait! The Grey Git! Grab him!